usually when I travel, I make them work cases. Work cases. Not a vacation. Where I, and basically what that means is I still, even though I'm in a new location, geographically, I still maintain most of my routines from work. Probably a little bit more loosely than I would if I was in my normal habitat of work. But for the most case, um, you know, waking up at the same time, going to some gym or doing something, uh, keeping my same work schedule, a similar work schedule with some flexibility. But I'm in a new location, so that's what makes it a work case. But this time, I literally went on a vacation, a vacation. I didn't do anything. Um, I pretty much abandoned most of my routines. But like I said earlier, I'm not complaining. Uh, it's just th there's a cost associated with that, right? There's a cost associated with that um, that I'm paying for it now because I have to get back, you know, get back on track. So. I feel good about, you know, going into this week. I was able to knock out a lot yesterday to prepare me for today. But mentally, mentally, I'm still on vacation. And I may take a couple days to get, you know, to get over. But I just want to give you my real time, my real time feelings uh, on where I'm at. Grateful for, you know, with my family reunion, it's always refreshing. At a, at a soul level, you know, my soul needs that type of fellowship with my family. And it puts things in perspective uh, because that's where my roots are at. Like my roots are um, grounded uh, through my family generational. So it's always good to go, go there. So even though my mind, even though my mind feels a little tired and kind of like getting back into it, my soul feels refreshed. And I feel like there was a deposit uh, in my heart that I needed, just just been connected with the fans. I'm back in the gym, which is a good starting point to get everything kicked back off because everything, I always refer back to um, uh, my good buddy, Brad Modric, who's like a fitness uh, guru here in the Lehigh Valley. He does more than fitness, but at the time he's known for fitness, but he he really planted a seed in me that really is still I'm still benefiting from in terms of like how I approach to um, coming to the gym, not even just coming to the gym, but just wellness and um, fitness in general and everything. And the way he would uh, uh, teach me is basically, hey, everything, if you get that aligned, everything falls into place. Cause it almost feels like I was starting at day zero um, with the excuses and the chatter and everything that was going off in my mind. Um, all the excuses were, were trying to come up and I had to just let it go. Don't listen to him. Um, he called that uh, the bitch voice. Don't listen to the bitch voice. But um, anyway, yeah, so it was good to be just back in the space and environment because everything will fall um, out of this, out of this practice of, you know, taking care of myself. One thing's amazing about how, even though I was mentally tired, move this back a little bit. Even though I felt like I was mentally drained, um, how your body, how responsive my body has been um, because of the recovery time, because of the four days that I wasn't working out, my body, my, when I'm running, my legs feel very explosive. Um, all my movements feel more explosive. It was almost like my body was craving to come back and thanking me that I'm here because it's rewarding me uh, through these endorphins, it's rewarding me through this sweat. Um, and then bringing back my my mental, my cognition, you know, as I'm as I'm doing this workout. So I'm wrapping the workout. I'm just doing some stretching quick, and then uh, gonna head to my office. This is why having systems is so important because even though I was away from the work, I already have a, a playbook on how I'm approaching the day right here. Like these are, I just go through it step by step. And I know exactly where to pick up where I left off at. If I didn't have a system, if I didn't have it organized, I would be all over the place. But as you see here, this is where I start, and then I end here. And it is step by step. I'm re what I'm reviewing. 
Okay, yeah, so we're, we're back in it. We're back in it. So I had the, um, I believe a, a few episodes ago, I had a hiccup in a business process. I believe I talked about it. Couldn't get into too much detail, but um, I'm st I just had to have a, a, a call, a message to uh, the founder of Studio LEX, um, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. And that's that's what it really comes down to is over communicating, over communicating. And uh, like I told him, like I feel really good about what we've done in such a short amount of time in less than a week. We've been able to cover so much ground together um, and we're going to have these hiccups. We're going to have these bumps in the roads, but you just got to keep on moving. But as I did that, I have a meeting <laughs> for the other company. Uh, which is the Rev RevOps company. He's waiting for me downstairs. Let me see if I have everything. He's waiting for me downstairs. And we're just right back in it. We're just right back in it. You know what I mean? Tom waits for no one. So I'm going to let him in. And then um, I'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll move forward with that meeting. And, you know, stay tuned. No, he's just been like, just building, 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 building. But now he's at a point where like, okay, I've I got something here. Yeah. Let's, let's. Let's put some life, life. Let's bring some life to it. So, like, maybe that, maybe this is a good idea to like go and show you how I would go, like, think about this client, like how we would work or yeah, how yeah, we yeah. pitch it. I guess. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. For that, I would go. Okay, so he's been around for ten years. So that means so, he has yeah. a database of somewhere, or he's probably on you know, Google Sheet, probably on a napkin. It's so, somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, where is that now? Okay, we need to get that into you know a CRM. So, like, okay, what is he using? Because then he needs something because if he's gonna like input a website. Um, and whatever is capturing leads yeah. has to get then go and be integrated into somewhere. Yes. Um, yep. so, yeah, so then like you were saying, it could be on here, you know, top of funnel. Are you familiar with those terms? Oh, yes. Like, yeah. Then, yeah, I mean, I, I swim in those terms, but yeah, yeah I feel you. I feel you, yeah. So then, yeah, like, and then it's just like, that's really what we do is like, okay, you have this site, okay, let's look at um, the numbers, like, are people, where are people falling off when they're coming on? Like, do you have all these different conversion options? Yeah. Um, and then, okay, what do you have? Like, a lot of people have, like, even we had, we had, I, again, some, one thing I've been said to Chris for six years. Like, yeah. can we just get a different, like, CTAs to mix it up? Um, but, like, top of funnel, bottom funnel, for him, it's like, what can you entice your, um, you know, like, like what, yeah, yeah. What, what can we do to get top of funnel? When that yeah, comes yeah. in, okay, now it needs to be essentially segmented and then nurtured. To uh, it either gets to to this mm -hmm. or it, something another action happens. Like we we usually set up like a scoring criteria where like if you hit this threshold, yep. we'll launch ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I mean, th and so then that's really like where we come in, and it's like man, we can build it like with HubSpot or anything. I mean, we like we can have put forms on there. We can integrate the forms in there. Yeah. That and then like the site tracking, like your Google Analytics. Yes. Um, so I. Yeah. The light bulb's going on. So, because I, I was, because when I was when I was working on this, you know, I was reading on the website. So now you're putting flesh. Like, yeah. I see what I see how it, the integration happens. Yeah, it's it's essentially it really is optimizing revenue at each point. Yes. Like, because if he has, let's say, for ten years, how many clients he probably has had? Like, yeah. You know, thirty, twenty thousand. Like, yeah. Those people, so we get them in there. Um, on the site, we put the tracking on there. Yeah. And so now we know what's happening, and that also builds up for that. Hey, let's say if he ever wants to do Google ads, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we have the data built up because we take his database, we put him into an audience, and then we also have anyone that has visited any part of the site. Yes. So that we can we can uh, track that and we can retarget them. Um, you know, again, we can build all these different things, chatbots. Chat yeah, 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 yeah. So chatbots. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I just put one on for that Dombo. I get six of these like in the last two days. Like, it's, just, it's just, it's super sick. I mean, there are, I, you, you gotta see, I'm telling you, I'll show you what I'm talking Everything is done now at this point for us. Like, yeah. it's wild. Wait, you, you do, you're you doing um, chatbots through HubSpot. Yeah, you can do, you can do that. You can do podcasts through that. That's crazy. You did tell me that. You did tell me That's great. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, I see. I'm glad you shared this because this is something I was trying to. I was brainstorming as well, and I was going to have our conversation to say, yo, this, one, this is what I see on this end of things, and please help, I see this, but make it clear, more clear for me, yeah. so I can understand how to position, um, position, you know, position to offer. It's, it, it's difficult, I mean, again, it's difficult, like, to, like, hone in on, like, what, if you had to put a one-liner, because, like, it is really, we're really, like, a revenue enablement company, to yeah, yeah, but, like, yeah. it's just, 
it's hard because we really are so much more. Like I like we're doing we're doing stuff that's like really severely impacting the business because it goes down to like just the dip just the different levels of like where are you losing all this money? Like we, yeah. we go into all this stuff, we look at it, we're like people are spending all this money on ads. We're like, did you look at the numbers? Like nothing is most from this. Yeah, most people don't do yeah. Because that's where the, um, the attribution comes in at. Like, so that's what, with um, Iceberg, one of the things we did a lot of is um, marketing attribution. So where is this leak coming from? Yep. How are you attributing? Is it your ebook? Is it your this or is it your that? Yeah. Um, but most people, like you said, most people don't even. No, it's, man, we, we create all the dashboards too. Like, again, it's three places we have it already set up. But that will show you, you can make a dashboard of anything inside of HubSpot. Yeah. I can uh, embed like a Google Analytics, uh, uh, report anything that they want to see, essentially, and it shows all of that. So like, you'll see down to like not only the source, but like what keyword they came in on. Yeah. Um, and you can have, yeah, you can see everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I see. I, I see like it clicked. I see it. I see it. Is there other things that you were like still? Thinking? No. So that I just wanted to, like, so. In my mind, I was just trying to think of because now that I'm using these two these different things in my mind, like okay, I see a comprehensive suite of a value offer, a, a value proposition yeah. that's emerging. It was it was it wasn't clear yet, yeah. but I, I needed I know I needed to have a conversation with you so I could see yeah. the clarity on the back end of, of things. And, I, and I'm sure we'll still like kind of get the right word. Like another thing that just reminded me that I used to pitch to like this way was brand and uh, revenue engine. So like I like that. I like that. This being probably where that company Yes, that's in. man, I, I have to show you my notes because I have something similar written down like that. It's it's like I've seen another company that was broken down like that, but I mean and this being obviously like you know content, um, again website, logo, yes. all that stuff. Um, and then this being really everything else from this point on. Yeah, yeah. Um, across because another thing that I'm thinking, like with um, with my vlog, yeah, it's slowly becoming this this engine of okay. top, top of funnel. Yeah. And I, I, I started something called Office Hours. Oh yeah. Like where, where Office Hours are basically I'm kind of using them because I was a professor, so that's kind of like the first no, thing I came to mind. Um, basically, like I'm saying, hey, so I have a meeting tomorrow um, with an investor, and he has his own business. And then um, another person, I think he's a designer, freelance designer. But anyway, they're starting to sign up for this thing, and now I'm like, wait, all these resources yeah. are there to help them solve whatever business or technical revenue problem that they have. Oh, they can talk to like okay. They talk yeah. So they'll they'll set up a fifteen minute meeting with me, but it's almost like a consultation. Yeah. But with 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 the solutions that we have, but it's slowly starting to become that organic. Are you to have, uh, have you tried like like live like doing that like on a live from YouTube and people can engage like, and set ask questions and stuff? It's not yet. Yeah. It's kind of, it, it is a little weird, but that, I mean you can also you can make money pretty quick on YouTube. I know. It's, I'm learning. It's it's crazy. I'm learning. When we first started working, you know Evan Carmichael, you hear that guy? He's like with Jay Shetty and all those guys. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, he does those um. Kind of weird. Like it. those those business breakdowns. Yeah, yeah. Top ten things. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yep. So we, he was like one of our first clients. Like, you serious? Yeah, we, and he brought. I mean, he like he taught us a lot. He brought us on the meetings with Jay Shetty and like Mel Robbins. Yeah. Like we, I saw some. When I went on those meetings, I was like, I need new friends. Like, she was like bawling her eyes out because she, she was getting sued from like an employee trying to say this stuff. Oh wow! And they all just stopped and they were like, Mel, send send the link real quick to the book. You're like, she just released her book. Yeah. And they're like, all right, she, and everyone buy twenty copies. And on the call, I just did that. And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, she did. They move money like it's silly. But it that to like to your extent, like what you were sorry, what you were saying is like there was thirty of them on the call and they were just all going one by one. Like having a, like here's what I what I where I'm at here's my need here's yeah. what I'm having issues with yeah and they help each other but um I guess to go back to what I was saying he, yeah. he made a shitload of money like that's where he made all of his money yeah yeah on yeah YouTube. And yeah he wasn't and he's not even doing anything really he just like yeah this is so much but anyway the vlog just that really top of funnel type content yeah um 
it's starting to drip in these people. Because I made a decision, I was like, I'm not playing an algorithm game. Yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and play this algorithm game because it's, it's, it changed a lot from the beginning. Yeah. So once I did that, that's when you just add value. In the just, add, just add a value in what I place. You know, what I place higher from a value perspective than a share, a like, subscribe is a 15 minute call. Yep. And then everything will. I'm optimizing for that and everything else. 100%. If you want to like, if you want to subscribe, if you want to do all that, that's on you. But I'm optimizing for that call. Yeah, I'm not going for like, going for impact. Yes, I'm going for the impact. Yeah. So that's so as we're learning, yeah. and I'm learning, I'm starting. You know, the your systems, your processes, and everything. I'm slowly integrating it in um, yeah. no, organically. It's it, no, I know. And then, and then, <laughs> like right now, like we're selling, and we're not even realizing we're selling. I put this on camera. This man's gonna make sure <laughs> every damn day. Every but it, 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 it does what it does. Yeah, no. You know, it does what it does, and um, no, no, 100%. Romeo, what's up, man? What's up, what's up? How you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. How you doing? How you been? Good, good. Did you what's up, man? have a good holiday? Yeah. Yeah. Have a good holiday? Yeah. yeah. Good? Yeah. Good. Good, good. Good, man. It was good seeing you, man. Yeah. Yep, I'll be around. You'll be around for a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, right. I'll be around. Right, have a good one, man. Yep. Yep, man. Nice meeting you. Really smart. Yeah. Hey. He's, 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 really? But he has his like I had a really he has his head on his shoulder. See that that's the stuff like even I know, yeah, yeah. Because like I just I don't know, I, I I started to realize that man, I'm like so many kids like they just they doesn't have no he has no idea that yeah. I just learned like how I'm still learning like what I can I'm capable of. Yes. He yes. has no idea. Yeah. yeah. So but cool. he, he definitely has his has his head on his shoulder. He's not your average eighteen year old. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's sharp. Really sharp. Hey, that's why we're gonna get to where we want to get to. We're comfortable. We can help a bunch of people. That's right. That's the whole so, point. Um, but so I guess like with this, this is really like what I like about this doing the client stuff is like I need to, and I guess I need you know your help to understand how we do this because I want to make sure like the, the really the segments of everything is like okay we need to get the day to day like the the roles down I guess like of, you know what we're doing. Yeah 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 yeah. Um, uh, then obviously like uh, an understanding. Or are you up to speed, I guess, on everything? Yeah. Um, or this is terrible, right? I get it, though. <laughs> on um, I get it. And then, um, like, and then look at everything and go, okay, you know, like a, kind of an audit or, like, what, or what do we need to do? Like, you know, you're saying, like, when we get to those points of, okay, do I do I start putting a podcast out? Like, you know, when we get to that level of those things, and yes. I have all that laid out. But yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think this is, like, the correct three roles, or, or do you think these need to be switched? I um, I think, I think the understanding piece has to come first. Because yeah, that's going to, because role, we're going to wear multiple hats. You're wearing multiple hats, and it's really about, like, do I understand at a high level what roles are Jay, is uh, Jason doing right now? And, because he's probably doing a multiple roles. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'm like, okay, let me take this one. Let me take this one. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that that last part, that last part kicks in really. It'll just flow flow out of that understanding. So I, I agree. And I, I think I, the reason I put this here, I think, was the, the one question I was like, when I break down the client side, like before jumping into everything, it was like, yeah. it's really kind of three components. It's like the meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's the strategy. Yep. Um, and then it's the delivery. Um, mm -hmm. So, like when I look at this, I go, okay, I have all this which I'll show you. I just I sent some of the stuff this morning, so like I have we can revamp anything, but like the meeting yeah. templates for like what we do. Yeah. We have the kickoff decks done. Like we can revamp anything if you want. We use ClickUp, but we can switch anything, and then all those things are set up. Yeah, yeah. The strategy, like I said, obviously we have what we've done, but I want to kind of reverse engineer it a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. So this is really the one that I'm like. I want to see, so there's, like I said, we have people we use, but like I would really want to, us to go, like I, I put a thing on um, Fiverr and Upwork, it's mm -hmm. like for, oh, this is some, some different position. So yeah, yeah. I have like resumes in there just to talk to people, but um, like understanding what you would, are, would want to do with them. So I guess it's the component is like interviewing, I guess, yeah. um, if we need to, and then 
um, managing to an extent, yeah. and like delegating the strategy part of it. So I, I think that's where I'm at for the role board. I'm like, where, you know, initially, like, do you see where you need me to fill in or want me to fill in, or if you don't at all? No. So what what, what I my whole idea is understanding your zone of genius. Yeah. Like when you when you break this stuff down, it's like, oh wow, this is like, you understand that like. But that's the problem is because I go into anything and just do it. Yeah. But I, it's hard for me to get into someone else's brain. Like, and that's, that's and saying. this is what I'm saying. Like, yeah. how do, how do I free that time so you can do document, like document the playbook, document like everything. everything. Because at the end of the day, that's what's going to come down to. That's what's going to make things investable and sellable yeah. with that documentation and that because when I like one of the things one of my frustrations when I'm working like directly with the CEO is things are moving so fast yeah. that uh, like documentation 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 document like that has to be like the the beat the drum beat yeah, and that's why I'm because I know and I didn't even work I that because I've even been told like you might have all this stuff in my head I I'm, it's hard for me to get it out fast enough yeah. so I understand what that feels like um, because it's hard to keep up if you don't know what, what you know, and it takes some time to build a cadence, yeah. a documentation cadence. No, it is, and, I, and I'm not great at that, and I think uh, even just since we started talking, though, like, I've started to really slow things down. Like, for me, like, when I came in here, like, I had this whole list, and then I was like, all right, I'm just right here, and I was like, because at the end of the day, like, we just, we just need to get segment by segment. If not, I'm going to come in here and just throw a, this whole wall to fill it, and I was like, let's go, figure how to figure it out, and, like, so I've learned a lot with that stuff and just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Like, okay, how do we leave here and we can move to whatever that next step is, yeah. you know, to, to, to get to the next meeting. It doesn't have to be that everything is, yeah. not everything Exactly, is. yeah, 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 um, yeah. That's my philosophy too, like, how can we get to the next meeting? How do we get to the next meeting? Yeah. But to answer your question, um, cross out deliverables. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I, and I can move in between strategy and meeting, kick off. Yeah. I can move in between those. My strength would probably be the meeting, would probably be in that order. Yeah. But definitely not the liberals. So and that's where. No, yeah, and, and I'm fine yeah. with that. I, I think uh, like that's where, or like the thing with Chris and I, like which I'm again, I, I think it's different because just the knowledge that you have and, and expertise and stuff, and it's not like knocking them or anything. It's just when when this part happens, right? So. The first part and the understanding and then like the audit aspect is we need to be like clear on what we're selling and delivering before we even get to that point, which is like that's on me and I'll show you what I have for it down to see what you think. Yeah. Uh, but what would always happen is we would get to this point and again I would know it in my head, but I would like I would lay out everything, but I wasn't there still. Like I would do an initial strategy with him to yeah. lay it out, mm -hmm. but it was still like a really big disconnect from this and this because making sure things were getting delivered the right way, making sure that the strategy kept ongoing. Yeah. Um, so like I just I guess. I'm oh, so you were stuck. So you were stuck in this like the strategy. Like vortex. I would, so like I would I would get the sale, and then it would go okay. Here's the kickoff. So then the kickoff. So you would do the sale and the kickoff. I tried to let him do this as much as possible, um, but it just didn't. Yeah, I mean, it just, I looking back, it just didn't, it didn't work. Like, what we weren't getting, we would leave this call. Why do you, why, do you think, because the relationship was dropped from sale to kickoff, or? No, I think, because um, we did, again, I think I went through this so many times in my head of like, what did I do wrong? And then I started to realize, like, I, I think it was just, this wasn't the role for him, because like, we would go back and we re revamp what we sold. Yeah. To make sure, okay, are you okay with delivering it? Are you okay with going through it? So then I would, send templates of here's every service we're doing now let's lay out what happens on a kickoff and what questions we need to get what information we need to get yeah because we would he would do the kickoff and like for the first month like we look at like an onboarding month we'd be in month or week three and we'd be like we don't have a login to uh, you know a google ads we're running google ads and i'm like well we didn't weren't in it for it all how how is that how is that information collected how so, are you collecting that from the kickoff how are you collecting it and then passing it on so we i mean we have 700 different things so we have we, i have the the deck in there which has all the questions and then yeah. we have a form that is essentially um like so basically he's on a zoom call with the deck mm -hmm. he's presenting going back and forth yeah don't you
So my wife just texted me. Uh, she's actually in a um, a, a woman in entrepreneurship program at Cornell University, and um, she just got her grades back, and she got a hundred uh, A plus, and I'm super proud of her. Um, for that A plus in my first class of entrepreneurial communication presence, so that was pretty cool getting that. Um, she just sent that to me right now. So, this is. So, this is kind of what I mean by like if we niche down to this and everything is done. Mm -hmm. With HubSpot, we get their. Um, where is it? Sorry, it's their. Uh, what the hell is it? Their um, like partner access. So we get access to all these resources, mm -hmm. and it's like it's literally it's literally anything oh, wow. that we would want, like. If anyone needs anything or oh, need wow. to, to do anything, it's yep. all right here. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, oh, this is their actual service. But, like, let's say, um, uh, where's it all that? I believe it's in here. So, of course, I'm terrible at showing this right now. Wait, oh, yeah. So, oh, the Academy, I'm sorry, that's it. But, so, it, like, it has all these templates in there. Oh, I see. Are these user-generated templates? It looks... Some of them are. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. Some of them are. And, that, I mean, that's... You can also sell these in there. But, I mean, they have, like... This is... They also have in here, like, the calculators and stuff you can put on your website. And, yeah. Um, but a lot of different stuff, like, if we can just take these and they're, you can brand them to it's, yourself. Yeah. And they're just little things that, like, I was, like, always trying to get. I have a whole list on a doc yeah. um, of these of just things that I wanted... Chris to just create and like whether it be that's a lead magnet we yeah. can make and just brand it to ourselves I see yeah or we also like these things are things that all of our clients can use and they're there for oh, free we can just send I it to see. them hey we know you're doing this <laughs> Why, like this link helps and it's like based on their need yeah yeah like any, I mean anything it could be yeah. you know anything that they're, they're doing um, so just finished up not just finished up but finished up the last meeting as you can see we covered a lot of ground and in this, these, this initial phase is really trying to get into the weeds, um, understanding the business at a high level, to see how the, you know, the functions um, work together. And then we spent, excuse me, we spent a little bit of time not getting into the weeds yet, but at least scratching the surface. So that's, that's the first order of business is trying to understand um, as much as possible, like the full cycle of the service from and, I look, and, and one of the questions they ask is just trying to understand the customer journey and how how a, how a client goes from not knowing who you are and you're not in their conscience to all the, you know automatically being in their conscience and then going through that full cycle and um yeah so we just took some time just breaking down what that process was and you can see we're doing that over here <coughs> You definitely can't read it. But anyway, breaking down what that um, that process is and looking at what holes are in those processes, what holes um, and gaps are in it and seeing in my, my, where I come in is finding out where, you know, I can fill those roles to get it to where we need to get to. And then you know, we spend some time looking at like, what would it look like to niche down to niche down the business rather than working on multiple different types of businesses where we have to continually to learn, where we have to continue to learn each industry to provide that service. And we can figure out how to niche down and we can standard, standardize it, standardize it and go deep. So rather than going wide, go deep. So these are just some ideas we were just tossing around um, as we were launching, um, launching, I should say relaunching uh, Rev Cardo, and I'm going to share more about, you know, Rev Cardo um, and what we do and um, how we can solve your problem, your revenue problem, if you're out there um, 
if you're a company that 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 stuck with their CRM. Uh, but anyway, I'm not gonna get into that whole thing. I just want to just let you know and let you see uh, firsthand behind the scenes um, how we're, how we're working through these things. And uh, the cool thing about this partnership is that um, Jason, who is the founder. Um, and the CEO of the company, he lives locally to me. So this has been the first time in a long time that I've worked locally um, in, a, in a partnership arrangement with a company. Um, usually everything's remote, but it feels good to be in office with someone and cooking, you know, cooking up strategy, cooking up um, implementation plans. Um, so it's a, it's a really good change of change of pace and it's and I need that like I like I like um that the fact that um that we're able to do like meet in person meet in person get on that whiteboard and just go back and forth with one another um until we kind of figure out how we want to do it so with that said um stay tuned uh we'll definitely uh want to hear your opinions your thoughts or anything that you've seen so far but um I'm not done yet but I'm, I'm wrapping up soon. All right, so I'm done for the day. I mean, today was a good first day back. I, I really, really, really feel good about today. The first day back, there were some things that I wish I would've got done, but I didn't, but it's all, it's, it's all good. Um, as you saw, I had a really good meeting um, earlier today. Uh, so with that said, if there's anything in this video that resonated with you specifically, I'm building a network, building a network of investors, People that are looking, who are business owners that have digital needs or branding needs that they want to solve, like those problems solve, looking for talent, we're putting together this network. And I opened up my, my calendar 15 minutes on, on Tuesday or Wednesdays. We'd love to get to know you more if you're interested in that. Um, because as opportunities arise, um, I want to be able to you know position you, position someone. Uh, to take advantage of the opportunity. So with that said, peace on out.